Well, hello there. I'm Coach Newton, and we're back for Module 2 of Code on the Road. So by now, you've finished covering as much as you wanted of Module 1, which is showing the when clicked concept. So Module 2 that we're going to cover here introduces parallelism. So I'm going to go through the slides that the students will see and just highlight how to engage in this activity to make it fun and easy. Uh, uh, just to touch on the subject a little bit. So parallelism is showing that an object or sprite can do two things simultaneously. So we'll go through the content to kind of show you what that means. And it's good for students to realize the power um, that their programs hold by using parallelism. It adds a depth of complexity that they may not have realized in the beginning of how they can ask the computer to control their sprites and their projects. So let's get going into the parallelism, parallelism design journal. So here uh, again, once I'd recommend you play this video Your for the is to whole class. It talks about parallelism. It's one minute. You can play it full screen and have a discussion so people can kind of understand what it is or ex express their understanding of what parallelism is. So let's get, so that's the first slide. And for the first engagement, similar to module one, I'm focusing on targeting, going through the first four slides in the first gathering and then finishing through slide 10 in the second gathering. So I'm going to cover all of that here. So let's go beyond this. So similar to module one, journal entries. Now, if you've printed this sheet once, you could just continue filling it out. It's, it's the same uh, reflection page. So to save paper, you could consider that. Um, we just had it because I allowed students to write extra and to draw and whatever they wanted to do in the reflection sheet. So I believe it helps to always see a fresh new journal entry sheet um, for, for the sessions. The third slide is, again, the Exploring and Inspiration Studio. So you he see here, uh, if you click and go to this link, there are several four projects here. This is a remixable project. That's kind of one of the bonus slides. So these first four. Again, the goal is um, for them to explore and jot down which project interested them. And they'll see ideas of dancing, sharks, drums, music, the ships in the sea, ideas where others have used the these uh, when clicked blocks um, to have things happen simultaneously. You can see these these here. Let's see, anything else here? I think this is good, right? And then to have them look inside the projects as we did in module one. Uh, so these first set of slides for the day one of module two, parallelism, are the same concepts of exploring inspiration and journaling. What I've done is for then the second gathering, uh, oh, here, sorry, here's parallelism, creating their parallelism project. Uh, getting unstuck strategies, reviewing those again, just to remind students, here are some ideas for how to get beyond uh, some area that you might get stuck at. And definitely help helping others in the class is encouraged. And then leaving comments on other people's projects so they realize how they can do that. Writing constructive comments. So these are examples you could read through and they could pick a project and, and add a comment to that project, especially if it's in the class studio that has been shared by another student previously. This is the README slide where I like these because it, in, it encourages students to then look at code and determine here's the project, right? With two sprites, this is the code for the bear. You notice the parallelism here, there are two green flags. So this will start simultaneously with this code and the same for the Fox. So it's good for, this one's more complex than the first modules read me. And we'll just 
again, play it out, explore, play with it, talk through it, um, and have them jot down what their ideas are. It doesn't matter if they're wrong or right, but just to have them think and, and get used to writing it out. Um, and then brainstorming ideas. We'd seen this slide before as well. Write three things you did yesterday, draw something you love, and again, we're trying to solicit ideas if you can make it uh, pertaining to your locale and what's happening in your library, in your area, your community. Uh, that may be specific time of the year or that week. That makes it even uh, more personal to everyone. And at the very end, we have this self-assessment slide. Again, the same as module one. So you can see we're engaging these first two modules. There are 10 modules in total for getting unstuck. But uh, this is paced to highlight what I felt were slides that you could get through and cover the content. And the students and yourself can explore the concept. And again, you're learning computer science as you go through and have fun. And this is where the content came from. And then see, these are some of the bonus slides. This is a remixable, again, making a plan, red, yellow, green, hearts and stars. So you'll see I've swapped out some of these slides. Here I added brainstorm ideas and leaving a comment into module two just to change things up a little bit. That's it. So your last third and fourth session will finish up module two. Um, and congratulations, you've done it, right? Uh, so I don't think there's a lot uh, more to cover here. And this is one of our libraries that we were in uh, last summer in Idaho. So I want to thank you for trying Code on the Road. And feel free to send questions. There's uh, details of how to reach me below or add comments to this video. And I'll do my best to respond uh, as soon as uh, I'm able. Have a great one. Code on the Road is ready for you to try. Thank you.